Hi everyone, this is Brad with InMotion Hosting, and today I wanted to talk to everyone about DNS and name server changes to give you guys some background information on, on what it is and how it works. Uh, specifically in this tutorial, we're going to touch base on how DNS and name servers work in general, when you need to change your name servers, and then finally how to change your name servers. So first we'll talk about how DNS and name servers work in general. The internet is comprised of servers around the entire world and each server belongs to a different person or a different hosting company. For example, InMotion Hosting has their own servers, you know, Host X may have their own uh, web servers and so on. And in our example today we're going to use a domain name called yourdomain.com. Now all domain names are registered at a domain registrar. That's basically the company that you pay to keep your domain active. In this example, we're going to reference GoDaddy just because they're so uh, popular. Everyone, uh, most everyone is aware of GoDaddy and, and that you can register domains through them. So the question now is, when you type in yourdomain.com, how does your web browser know which server to contact? Well, that is answered by DNS. DNS handles the routing of domain names. So your domain name points to a set of name servers. So if you're hosting with a company called HostX, for example, their name servers are going to look similar to ns1 and ns2.hostx.com. And those name servers direct your website to a certain server. It could direct your traffic anywhere, but the name servers control which server your domain goes to. Now we're going to touch base on when you would need to change your name servers. The biggest reason is that you signed up for a new hosting provider and you need to redirect your web traffic to your new server. In this example, we're going to pretend that you've signed up for InMotion hosting, so your goal is to route traffic for yourdomain.com away from HostX to InMotion Hosting. To do that, you'll need to contact your domain's registrar. Again, the domain's registrar is the company that you pay yearly for the domain renewal, and they're also the company that controls which set of name servers your domain points to. So you'll want to contact your registrar and ask them for assistance on how to update your domain's name servers. Most registrars have an online interface that you can go to and update your name servers, but if you have any questions, you can always contact directly, uh, contact them directly. So you would contact your registrar, and in this case, you would tell them to remove the current name servers and to instead point them to ns.inmotionhosting.com and ns2.inmotionhosting.com. And as you can see, when you make that change, your domain is going to point to those name servers, and then those name servers are going to route your website's traffic to your InMotion hosting server. Now do be aware that when you make this change to your name servers, it could take up to 24 hours to take effect. So if you make the change and you test your website six hours later, it may not work for you. You can test it 12 hours later, it may not work work for you. Again, it's gonna, it may take up to 24 hours. It usually doesn't take that long, but in some cases it may. Now if you go to our website, InMotionHosting.com, you can find the Support Center link at the top right. And in our new Support Center, if you find the Domain section, you'll see a link that says Updating Your Name Servers. When you visit this page, it'll give you some more information to help you out. For example, at the top, we've listed our name servers, and that's going to be the name servers that you point your domain to. And then these name servers are going to route your traffic to the InMotion hosting server. We also have several links located here that will give you a guide on how to change your name servers at certain registrars. For example, godaddy.com or, or enom. And again, if you have any questions, um, it is best to actually contact your registrar as they have the details um, on how you can change your name servers. So that's it for this tutorial. If you have any further questions, uh, feel free to contact our support department at any time.